What was the weirdest part of the pandemic? I live a block away from a very busy highway. While I never really noticed the sound of the highway, when it was gone, the silence was amazing. I remember some of the restaurants near me started selling groceries during lockdown. It was so weird walking past a high end restaurant known for its oysters only to see stacks of toilet paper, six packs of beer, non perishable foods, etc. in its windows. I don't remember 2021 at all. Waiting in a lineup outside of the grocery store. Everyone had to stand on a sticker to stay properly distanced from one another and security would wait until someone left before letting another person inside. No such thing as a quick shop during those times. How fast time went for me. I feel like I lived in a time bubble. Went in early 2020. Came out late 2022. Any type of party on Zoom. Toilet paper hoarding. How the wildlife started walking through towns as soon as the stay at home orders took full effect. When people first started wearing masks and they were sold out everywhere, so people had to improvise and create their own weird random supplies from home. Tiger King. LA filling an outdoor skate park with sand and arresting someone for swimming all by themselves in the ocean playing animal crossing for 12 hours a day when a bunch of celebrities sang a john lennon song thinking it'd inspire people or some shit i was so afraid of sneezing and coughing in public spaces cause people normally started to give you some weird looks the politicization of it all going for a hike in the woods Seeing absolutely no one but still finding masks littered at the trailhead. Grocery stores trying to get you to follow arrows on the floor. Being an essential worker, and still get shit on upside down face. Pretty much every commercial kept reminding us we were living in unprecedented times for a few months and I hated it. The alcohol distilleries that turned into hand sanitizer manufacturers almost overnight. I regret not grabbing that obvious vodka bottle which was filled and labeled as hand sanitizer. At the gas station back in 2020. It was cool to see all the trends too. Like we all started baking bread and riding a bicycle. It was cute. All the talk about people being essential, when in reality we were just expendable. No one out in public. How people who were considered essential healthcare, retail workers, farmers had to keep working without any pay increases, while everyone else stayed home and got paid. The rich just got richer too. Clapping for the NHS to later get pissed off when they ask for a reasonable pay increase. It's not surprising. But I am disappointed at how poorly the governments were prepared. There was no logic applied to anything. What a mess. I never understood the sourdough starter craze. We get locked in our homes for a few weeks and suddenly everyone's baking bread? We have a pandemic every 100 years or so right around the 20s. And we've had like 15 years of experts saying that the next big world changing event would be a pandemic. And then the worldwide medical organizations who monitor pandemics were like hey guys we have a pandemic coming. And people were still like this has got to be fake why have I never heard of pandemics before. Single quote. For me how it further divided America instead of being more of a unifier. Indian bloggers bragging about how India was so adept at handling pandemics because for reasons unknown the initial wave pretty much bypassed India. And then Delta hit. Right at the beginning when everyone made the decision watch Tiger King without consulting one. Another. The double standards. When there was absolutely nobody anywhere. Everything was shut. Everywhere looked like a ghost town. 
realizing a lot of people I know are idiots. How eerie and quiet city streets were. Even my pups were seemingly taken back by it. They'd keep looking around as if they were trying to figure out where the cars and people were. Every block. Every corner. How all these companies that absolutely couldn't offer flexible working. Suddenly just could. And now they want you to believe that they can't again. How everyone instantly became an infectious disease expert overnight after fast forwarding through. A few videos on Facebook and reading articles from experts. Yes. Of course. Your time as an unemployed hairdresser really makes me think you grasp everything that's going on. Right now and are competent at breaking down the situation and. Most importantly. How you are going to solve it. How relaxing it was when everyone was keeping their distance like I'd been doing for decades. That nature literally came back in full force and everything got better environmentally. It began recovering right away and everything became healthier. Waters we thought were naturally brown immediately began turning blue. Animals began returning to habitats. Plants began to flourish. Air quality was completely night and day different. All we did was stop for two weeks. That was it. That's all it took. In many states small businesses were required to shut down for long periods of time while large. Corporations were allowed to stay open and reap the benefits. The cold flu suddenly disappeared. That people were reminded to wash their hands. Even then not many people did or still do. Working at the hospital and seeing my patients dying like flies. Then going home and getting on Facebook and hearing about how it was all fake and overblown. The supposedly toughest people crying about not being able to get a haircut. The makeshift protective wear people threw together to go out. Just how long 2020 felt. Longest year of my fucking life man. The sudden validation of every zombie apocalypse end of the world media. It turns out that when push comes to shove, people will in fact not act with society's interests at heart. Turning it into a political problem. Online classes. Feeling like I lost years of my life. Especially since I'm in my 20s, it was extremely jarring. Never in my life I have experienced such peace and tranquility. Probably never will again. Says a lot about how a person would feel without people constantly jabbing at them just because. Society demands it. When you could eat at a restaurant but you had to wear a mask while walking in. That was around the time of peak stupidity. The use of the phrase social distancing as opposed to physical distancing. The facts that it completely killed 24-hour stores and made Google a completely unreliable source. For store hours to this day. Maybe not that weird. But working nights it really enrages me. How many people absolutely refuse to be part of the solution? The pandemic exposed how damn self-centered so many people are. Walking into a bank with a mask on. Isolation. It really hurt me. How we all realized some people are really stupid. 1. No one could admit we think this is what we should do but we could be wrong and may have to change. Next week but hey. Science ain't perfect. So give us a break. 2. No one could admit wow these people do know some things and they're pretty smart so I'm going to. Do as they suggest so I don't die. Even if I'm guessing without evidence I wouldn't like their politics much. Edit spelling. A lot of these things are disappointing. Frustrating or depressing but not weird. Per se. The weirdest part. In my opinion. Was learning to recognize people by the top half of their face then having to relearn recognizing. Them by the rest of their face when mask requirements were loosened. No one ever really looked like you imagined they would either. For better or for worse. And that's on starting a new job mid-pandemic. Upside down face.